Arriba, my friends! Lead Gaming checking in with our first review. Today we're gonna talk about a game that is not that popular. It's called Secret Pajos. We'll do a review about the game and show you a little gameplay. But enough of talking, let's jump into it. First of all, let's have a look at the menu. So, we have looking for a game, searching for a game, uh, the game mode, the bandit options, so we can uh, change out our bandit. We have the map choice, we have finding friends, we have ranking, lists, online shop and the options. Game modes. You can choose your game mode before, so you can get connected to the lobbies you prefer. There are the following game modes available. Deathmatch, free for all or domination. We will shortly talk about the specific game modes. In Team Deathmatch all you have to do is kill as many players as possible so your team catches the killing mark first and instantly wins. In Free For All, as the name says, you play alone versus all other players on the map. The player who hits the killing mark first wins. Domination. Normally, domination is about capturing flags and holding them. As you know it from Call of Duty or Battlefield. But on Secret Ponchos, this isn't true. All you have to do is killing opponents with your teammates. When one team is 5 kills ahead of the other, for example, my teammate has 5 kills and I have only 2 kills, but the other team has to get a combined both players, only 2 kills, we instantly win. When the game takes forever and the clock of about 200 seconds runs out, it will be the one team who wins who has the most kills combined. You can also choose between 1v1, 2v2 or 4v4 in the specific game mode. Also, there is a rank playlist. If you think you are a really good player, you can choose the rank play. But be sure to have some training, because these guys are fucking crazy. Let's have a look at the characters. We have the killer, the matador, kid rat, the deserter, and last we have the phantom poncho. As you can see on the screen, all of them have different stats, like the killer is really strong in damage and range, but he has not that much health and regeneration. Every one of these characters have different weapons, there are always two weapons, primary and secondary. The games are really short, mostly fast paced, this is what we really like about this game. Also the skill cap is really high, even if there are only 2 weapons and 5 classes, the movement and shootings are not that easy to do, even if it looks like it's on the gameplay. What we really like about it too is the matchmaking system. You get matched up with new players with a really low rank if you are on rank 1 and if you are on rank for example 5 you get matched up with good players who have the same or almost the same rank. The downside of this matchmaking system is that if you have a lot of experience and you just make a new character you start on no rank so you get mixed up with players who have never played the game. Also there is one little downside, if your teammate leaves the game, there will be no other teammate joining your game, so you stay alone till the end of the round. I think that is because the games are too fast, I guess one game is normally under 4, four minutes, right? Every time you rank up, you get 2 skill points to spend, as you have seen in the character menu, you can spend them on one of your skills. Like, put 2 points in damage if your class doesn't much that makes that much damage or spend two in movement because you have a slow class and so on. So there are so many different ways you can make your class well, like you need it. You want to restore all points and spend them for another skill or for your character? No problem. No pain, no points needed. Just take them away in the menu and put them where you want to have it. As easy as I say. Now, how do you rank up? That's pretty cool. If you kill players, you get a bounty on you. If you kill more than one player in a run, you get more bounty for one game. If you if your bounty hits a specific mark, you rank up until max rank. I think it's level 5. After that, you can't rank up anymore if you're not playing competitive. Then the maps. There are four different maps. Some of them are more close quarters, some of them are more on range. So you choose the map fitting your character. As you can see in the gameplay behind, we just one that one I played the fat guy <laughs> in the blue shirt and it was 
really, really, we really appreciated this gameplay and the game itself. So, see you in a second. Critics, facts, and rating. Let's go. We would give this game 9 out of 10 points. It costs about $15 and was for a short time free to play on PlayStation. Definitely worth the money. Pretty graphics if you like the games that are some kind of handcrafted. Really sweet sounds and ambient that makes the game really cool. You feel like an outlaw from the Wild West to be honest. <laughs> High skill cap. Really appreciate that so you can get so much of out of your character if you know how to skill and play. No buy this, get points for this, need a premium pass to play game. The game is really worth its money if you have to pay for it and then download it for free. And you have only skins that are available for buying. These cost nothing about the stats at all, it's only about style. I really appreciate that while playing a game like this. The game is really balanced so there is nothing overpowered or something. Every character has its up and downsides. What was not that good? I really like the ranking, but I think there would, should be more ranks before you have to do competitive or ranked playing. It's not that popular, so there are not that many players, which is sometimes a little frustrating. Waiting one minute so you just can play the game, but then that the fault of the programmers and mostly get into a match pretty much instantly. Again, 9 out of 10 points. Would buy and play again. If you need some more information, check out the website secretponchos.com, link in the description. We hope you had fun watching this video and you could get as much information as you need. If you want to see more gameplay, stay tuned. We record a lot of ga live gameplay and will upload them as soon as possible. If you have any questions, please write them down below or check our Facebook page right on us on Twitter. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much again for watching. If you liked the video, leave us a thumb up or a sub. Lead Gaming is checking out right now. Hasta luego, my friends.